Hello and welcome to the weather update. It's 9.30, March 11th, 2022. And yes, we had some sunshine today, but you're looking at this high-resolution satellite, you'll notice all these lines. Those are all contrails from the aircraft, so it wasn't... Looks like further south, the sky was clearer, but uh, kind of a somewhat junky sky. But to the south, it was a little less junky um, throughout the day. But you can see definitely not a clear day, but a good amount of sunshine. Uh, right now, we're seeing uh, clouds built into the area. And after, I would say, I mean, technically it was mostly sunny, true. But there were a lot of contrails around, which doesn't make for a nice sky. But tonight, uh, here in Rockville Center, I was actually watching was clear and then I was watching these clouds kind of roll in from the uh, water there it's kind of cool uh, these are the clouds rolling in ahead of the storm system here uh, and they did roll in pretty quickly or clear and then uh, we started got this uh, high to mid-level overcast that kind of came in and uh, yeah so yeah so anyway uh, let's take a look at the current conditions out there right now you can see the winter storm warnings for the mountains and and winter weather advisories uh, bordering those areas this is the big storm that is going to be uh, come affecting our area tomorrow. Uh, and we have winter weather advisories in effect for Queens. Uh, so we have a, uh, so Queens is winter weather advisory in New York City, um, northern half of New Jersey, uh, but so, and Connecticut, but so far not Long Island. Uh, we'll see. There'll be a little snow tomorrow at the end, and we're going to have to watch just how much snow there will be. But right now, it's a mild night. Temperatures are in the mid-40s. Uh, and they're continuing to rise along with the dew points. We have dew points now rising to the 40s as well. Uh, 45 at Islip. Uh, 45, pretty much everybody around 45. Let's see, 45 even in New Jersey. So everybody's around that 45 degree mark. Let's take a look at what the high temperatures were today because it was a mild day. We were above normal once again today. Uh, got into the 50s, 52 at Islip. Uh, West Hampton was 49, 54 uh, in Roslyn. Uh, so generally mid 50s across the island today. Uh, waiting for this to load. Uh, always waiting, waiting for this site to load. It's always a problem. Uh, 52, 50 at JFK, 54 at LaGuardia, uh, and of course the warm spot. Look at that, 60 degrees in Lakehurst. So yeah, if you were in Jersey, it was quite warm for you. Um, so anyway, let's uh, take a look. At obviously, this warmth is going to be a distant memory. Uh, as we uh, get into the system. So again, you see here is, uh, we also have a wind advisory in effect for tomorrow as well. Um, and the latest briefing on this storm right now is, uh, you can see here, total snowfalls and impacts. It's upstate Orange County, they get the winter storm warning. Uh, Hudson Valley, Northeast New Jersey, New York City, and Western Connecticut get a winter weather advisory for one to four inches. Uh, and snowfall rates could be up to an inch an hour in Orange County. Gusty winds will gust to 50, 45 miles an hour, especially along the coast where 50 is possible as the storm pulls away late Saturday and uh, Saturday night. And then you're going to deal with those wind chills possibly into the low single digits by early Sunday morning. So we got a frigid blast of Arctic air coming, though it's going to be a brief, uh, a brief uh, shot of it. Uh, and perhaps the last shot of winter for the year. Uh, winter uh, weather, uh, wind advisory for Long Island, Eastern Connecticut. Uh, so uh, you can see here, they're not really predicting very much for Long Island. Maybe an inch on the North Shore now, so everybody just a half an inch to a coating. Um, that is the most likely, but uh, this is the high end amount, and the high end amount could see us up to two inches perhaps on Long Island. And then uh, there are the wind gusts possible, so there will be some wind gusts, and that whatever little snow falls could blow around. And the liquid equivalent here, they have us near an inch of liquid equivalent. Uh, so, uh, let's look at ice slips today. So weather at ice slip again one more time. Just show you uh, what things were like today, uh, as far as the winds go and everything. Uh, we had uh, light winds in the morning, uh, fog in the morning actually we had, and then uh, light winds actually got down to 27 at ice slip. Like, so it got pretty cold. The air did reach the dew point. I guess we did see some of that radiational cooling. Now I'm gonna have to check West Hampton. Uh, but you can see uh, it got up to 51 there at ice slip. Uh, and again, temperature is generally dropping with that southeast wind toward the afternoon there. Uh, let me look at West Hampton. So we'll see uh, if they got some of, that, some of that radiational cooling. And then we'll take a look at our storm. Uh, so here we are. Uh, temperatures. Uh, West Hampton got down to 20. 
21 degrees this morning. Wow, that's incredible. So 21 degrees at West Hamptons. I didn't check the low. I didn't think they'd see that radiational cooling, but sure enough, we did see that radiational cooling last night. I guess we had the clear enough skies to get it with lighter winds. Uh, and that's that's why they dropped down very low last night. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that radiational cooling is always impressive there in West Hampton. One of the coldest spots uh, in the whole area at night. Uh, so let's get to the models now and look at this storm as it gets itself together here. GFS, here is your storm getting itself together over the uh, over Georgia and it rides up the coast and tracks just over, just along the I-95 corridor, perhaps just east of it. And you can see at the tail end, you can see, though, look at the heavy snow that could wind up falling even in New Jersey. So points west might see, uh, even places like perhaps even Tom's River or Inland might wind up seeing more snow than Long Island because as it moves east, the snow becomes lighter. And you can see some of those strong winds. And then we get this really quick blast of cold air, and then it's out of here, and we got the high with the return flow for next week. Uh, and uh, and some unsettled weather for next week, it looks like, perhaps a little few bouts of it here and there. Uh, but let's get to the storm right now. It's the main focus. We'll look at. We'll talk about next week on Sunday, I think, uh, Sunday night. Uh, but let's go to the HRRR model here and look at the zero Z. So here is the zero Z HRRR. You can see that rain is going to start probably around five six in the morning, uh, and then uh, we're going to have those rain showers, perhaps even a thunderstorm, and then you can see what winds up happening here. The cold air moves in to Nassau County around noon, uh, and uh, that's going to change the ch change the precip over to snow uh, and a mix for Long Island. And then, but you notice over Jersey, it's snowing more over Jersey, uh, whereas the East End would wind up possibly picking up less. But you can see light snow could linger around right until uh, uh, e the evening hours. Very light snow, then it pulls away. But you can see the strong winds behind this storm. And then for Sunday, uh, we're clear. But then we got to watch for this little possible. It's actually trying to bring like a little wave through later in the day on Sunday with perhaps a little area of light snow, perhaps. Uh, so when we're looking at the HRRR output, uh, we look at the total snowfall here, and you'll see uh, it does have uh, the eastern Long Island, Suffolk County, maybe getting an inch on the grass here. But Nassau County could see two to three inches, and then... Um, you could see a little more in Jersey as well, uh, where, uh, closer to maybe three inches. And then as you get north and west of this line, this is where you'll start seeing the five-plus inch amounts. And New York City really has a good chance of actually getting into some of this, uh, possibly seeing as much as five inches here uh, with this uh, track here, with that colder air coming in on the backside. Now, of course, this isn't a uh, typical favorable scenario for snow big snowfall but it is probably could be the last chance we get this winter for some wintery weather um so let's look at our temperatures here and you'll see why uh it has what it has here all right first let me look at the to put the dew points up here to show you right this is the h triple r model so you'll see southerly flow uh but that storm tracks a little more east and because of that uh by uh noon the wind starts swinging around to the northwest and north and the temperatures drop below freezing, and it really gets cold by tomorrow night. Uh, this is going to be some really cold Arctic air that we're going to be dealing with here. Temperatures dropping to the 20s. Uh, actually, no, these are the dew points. I'm sorry. So the dew points mark where that cold air. So once the dew point goes below freezing, uh, uh, that's going to support the snow. And so uh, that's why I think the snow. And then you can see the really dry Arctic air that we're going to have in here. Dew points down to the single digits with a northwest flow. And our strong one, too, in Sunday morning. And then it lightens up. And then you can see already the flow swinging around to the southwest by Sunday night. So this is a quick shot of cold air. Uh, so now we'll go to the temperatures. So here we go. Tomorrow uh, in the morning, we'll be in the f upper 40s to around 50. Then the temperatures drop into the 30s by er late morning. And then uh, by uh, the afternoon, we're below freezing. So whatever falls is going to freeze. And, uh, yeah, uh, we're down into the 20s uh, by, uh, by uh, tomorrow night uh, around, uh, I would say, 6, 7 o'clock. We're already going into the 20s. And then teens overnight possible. It's going to be pretty cold, uh, pretty cold. And then uh, for your Sunday, you can already see that look where it's trying to lift out already. The cold air is going to lift out, so it's going to be a quick shot. Uh, but Sunday, we may have trouble making it above freezing. 
especially if there's snow on the ground. So it'll be the last cold day for those of us like yours truly who like the cold air. We better enjoy it because it could be the last cold air of the season, uh, perhaps. Um, so uh, let's go to some other models now. We looked at the temperatures, uh, what the temperatures will be like through the weekend here. And we can, if you want to go a little further into next week, we'll just go show you that Monday uh, we already see that return flow and we're already uh, near 50 degrees again. So enjoy it while it lasts. And this is the GFS, all right, with the cold air coming in, all right? So let's go to the NAM model here, and I'll use the NAM 3. And we'll use the NAM 3, and we will look at the precipitation here. On here is the high-resolution NAM, and you can kind of see how these th heavy thunder... Some of these could be some thunderstorms, especially off the Jersey Shore, uh, possibly going to the east end, some really heavy rain. I could roll out lightning and thunder with them uh, in the morning. NAM's a little slower. Here we are uh, in the noon, and the cold air still hasn't come in yet. Uh, and then the NAM's a little slower at bringing the cold air in, but it does bring snow in in the backside. So the NAM is probably going to be a little less with the snowfall because it looks like the NAM's track... It's just a little bit further west. Let's see. Yep, it is a little less. It is a little less. But the NAMS record, I think, could be a little off here. All right. Let's just go to the GFS and see what the GFS is saying here with the snow. Its resolution is low. Uh, but you can clearly see. Uh, there's a little bit of a disagreement here. A little bit of a disagreement with the models. Uh, but let's go to the... Uh, total accumulate precip, and we will look at the total accumulate precip. And you can see now it is showing an inch of liquid equivalent here. This is the GFS. Uh, we'll go look at the HRRR as well. So this is going to have a lot of moisture with it this storm. HRRR also giving us uh, around an inch liquid equivalent. So we'll get an inch of precipitation. It has been dry, so we need it. Um, and then we'll go to the NAM, and I'll use the NAM 12 for this. So NAM 12 also around that so you can see there's some differences here with the models as to when the cold air it's very very hard to say uh what's going to happen here uh let's uh, as far as you know putting an exact accumulation but i would say most of us are going to see the ground white tomorrow uh, by the by this time tomorrow night the ground will be white for most of us um so uh let's go to the uh skies go to the rgm here and look at the skies and we will go and look at, obviously tomorrow we'll have plenty of clouds uh, with the storm, but we're going to look at Sunday uh, and see, you'll see uh, that we're going to have a clear sky, but then we're going to have to watch some of these clouds coming in already. This is uh, by 1, 2 o'clock. We may have to watch some clouds coming in first over Jersey and then over Long Island. So it looks like if you want the clear skies, uh, best to get an early start in the morning because these clouds are going to roll in uh, with this like this little wave coming in. And then by Monday... It looks like we'll clear out again, but we may have to contend with a little cirrus. Uh, but other than that, it looks like the you know first parties again. If we had the block and we didn't have that that zonal type of flow, we would probably have another clear cold day on Monday. But of course, we're not having that uh, because of the jet stream pattern that we've been having all winter, where there's just no blocking. Um, so. Um, Let's look at a few other parameters here. I'm going to go back to the GFS, and we're going to look at the wind because we're going to have to watch out for the winds too tomorrow uh, with this system. Worst of the winds, though, are offshore because that LLJ is offshore. So the L we're not because of the further east storm track, we're not going to really see that LLJ. Perhaps Nantucket might see it, uh, but generally we're going to see those strong winds behind the system in the cold air. And that's what's going to make those windshields pretty cold. Uh, so let me go to the Ventu Sky. We're going to look at the Ventu Sky and look at the wind forecast for this uh, site as well. So go to Saturday, and we will look at the wind forecast to show you. All right, so here's the wind. Winds are fairly light, actually, at 9 a.m. Then around noon, that's when they start picking up, and that cold air starts coming in. So we see those gusts up to 42, 40. Let's see, pick it up. So it won't be too bad, the winds. It looks like the worst of the winds are going to be in the mountains. Um, generally, an offshore flow is less damaging than off the water because it's coming over the land and it's, you know, broken up a little bit. Uh, so, uh, um, but we'll have to see. And if we can look at this, and this will actually predict snow cover. 
You see, this is predicting a little bit of snow cover. So we'll have to see, but I think, yeah, the central Jersey area could see, and New York City could see a decent amount, depending on uh, what happens. Uh, let's look at one more site, the windy.com site, which is the European site, uh, and look at the snowfall for tomorrow here. Look at the new snow for next three. This is the next three. This is the European, which definitely is a little on the heavier side. 3.2 over Nassau, Suffolk County, 1.9, and over Jersey, a 3.1. So uh, Euro is definitely colder, brings the colder air in quicker because the storm track is further to the east. If we look at tomorrow, you'll see by 1 p.m., cold air is, 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 is moving in. Uh, it also probably keeps a little more of the snow behind the system a little bit. If we were to look at the actual precipitation in the... Uh, uh, you can see it still has the snow back here. So it's very hard to predict exactly what's going to happen. Um, it's not going to be a huge snowfall, but it is going to be possibly winter's last gasp. Uh, so uh, we'll have to see uh, how this all pans out. Uh, by the way, it's going to get cold. Uh, we can also look at the wind as well. Use this European model for the wind gusts, and you'll see. Uh, it's going to feel quite chilly. So return of some winter weather. Uh, for our area, I would suggest you enjoy that winter weather um, because it could be the last. Again, if we look at the tidbit site here, um, if you look at the tidbit site, which we'll go back to, um, we will go back to the CONUS view and look at the temperature anomaly chart. You'll see after this uh, outbreak of cold air, uh, once it's gone, that's it. We're going to be above normal for. Perhaps the rest of the month. So you don't see any more cold air coming down, which really sucks. So, um, and that also means they're going to have plenty of junky days, too. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a crappy pattern, that's for sure. Uh, so enjoy this little, this last gasp. Could be la winter's last gasp tomorrow, I think. Uh, so I'm just going to draw out a rough uh, snowfall chart here. Uh, and it'll be a very rough one, obviously, but I'll just draw one out here for you right now because uh, I, I just really don't think we'll see that much. But I'm generally thinking uh, this area right here, uh, Nassau County, uh, extreme coastal New Jersey, uh, part of Queens, uh, this general area right here uh, could see around uh, one to two inches, all right? Uh, less than an inch in Suffolk. I'm not even going to put that in there. Uh, but uh, if you go further to uh, inland, further inland, probably j even just west of the Garden State Parkway, New York City, New York City and coastal Connecticut, I think you're going to see that two to four is more likely in this area. All right. And then if you go west of that, Usually I draw these maps ahead of time, but uh, if you go west of that, it's the mountain, it's even Philadelphia, perhaps, uh, parts of the mountain, uh, par parts of northern New Jersey, Hudson Valley, you're going to see, you're going to get your uh, five to uh, eight, possibly eight inches, five to eight inches, perhaps, all right? And then in the mountainous areas here in the mountains, uh, I think you're going to see close to a foot. So I think you're going to be seeing uh, possibly 12 plus in this area right here in these mountainous areas. So uh, that, that gives you an idea of what the storm is going to do. Um, uh, again, that two to four is for um, Connecticut. Suffolk County, um, most of Suffolk, Pine Barrens, probably an inch or less. All right. Um, there'll be something, but the biggest amounts will be um, to the north and the west. But I think the western parts of Long Island, if you're in New York City in particular, you're going to have snow. Uh, probably won't stick to the roads. It might, uh, but you might have to shovel. Um, uh, and the North Shore and Nassau maybe as well. Uh, so that's going to wrap up this weather update. Take care and thanks for watching.